Hi, I'm Jimmy. And I'm Kenny. And we're from Lost in Japan. And in this episode, this is a uh, tsumami. Tsumami means to like, you know, little treats. And that goes very well with sake, Japanese rice wine, or beer, right? So yeah, it's like beer. bar, it's kind of like a bar food too, I'd say. Bar snack. Um, I think the very interesting thing is a lot of it's a Jap because we're in Japan. A lot of it is seafood based, and this group here is all seafood based. Squid. What's this? Shellfish. Shellfish. Shellfish strings. It's a, it's a string, the thing inside. And then, this is a uh, little small little fishies, little fish. Then we go to the seaweed, kelp. And I guess this is kelp too? Is this kelp? That's kelp too. Okay. So it's, it's called wakame and kombu. This is called the... the Ika. Ika is uh, the squid. The shellfish is called... Kaihimo. Kaihimo. It's kaihimo. And the small fishes are called... It's iwashi. Iwashi. Yeah. The small fish. I want to try the kombu first. Okay. I think this is one of my favorite. Mm -hmm. I like all of them. Sukombu. So it's uh, basically kelp. And it's kind of like vinegar. a vinegar flavor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> good. I like this. Really good. Look at this. It's just it's 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 kelp. Mm. <laughs> it's kelp. It's, it's kelp. It's crazy. <laughs> this is good. Totally fits sake. I should let's try this kombu too. This, I mean, it looks like it's like kind of a candy wrapper. It's a kombu ame. Candy, but it's it's soft. It's kind of soft. And this this is I guess is um oshaburi. Oshaburi means um. So it's like a it's dry. The kombu is dry. I just bite to it though. It's kelp and it's delicious. Mm -hmm. Let's see the difference with wakame. Seaweed. So this is a regular one. And this is the one with the plums. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, let's try the regular ones. It's packed. There's many in one pack. Oh yeah, look at that. It's like four, four pieces in it. It's called kuki wakame. Stem. Seaweed. Uh -huh. the thick stem of the meat. Seaweed. Crazy seaweed. Actually, tea was a beer. Okay, this. Oh shit! We got the tea and the beer, and they think oh, most of the stuff goes with both. Yeah, I guess, right? <laughs> Let's try the squid. This is all squid, but they're like totally, uh, I guess, different ways, different ways of preparing it. So, and each very unique. So that makes a big difference. Let's try this. Uh, Surume somen. Somen is the noodles. So I guess it's they're talking about Japanese noodles because the way. It, it's chopped up to be very fine and thin, like noodles. It is. It tastes good, but it's too thin. Yeah. So, yeah. Isn't it? It's I think pretty that's, hard to eat. No, I like it. I like it, but I, that's. I guess that's why there's so many different to each okay. their own preference. Pirikara, was it? Tongari mimiyaki. Like sharp ears, probably the, the cold okay. head. Part because the way the yeah. way they they cut it. There you go. Pirikara. Pirikara is like spicy. What does this say? Ika tanzaku. Tanzaku. You know tanzaku? No. Well, you know tanabata? Yeah, the festival in, yeah. in, in the July. summer. Yeah, July. Yeah. yeah. So you, you write the wish on the tanza uh -huh. okay. and hang it on the bamboo. Oh, tree. so this is actually because it, it looks like a little strip yeah. where you can actually write on. Call it okay, I love this one. This is great. It's like half pickled, half dry mm -hmm. kind of deal. It's cured basically. It's very good. Okay. I like this one. This really hits beer. Okay. It's a yakikai himo. Shellfish strings. It's flavored a little bit with uh, probably sake. Alcohol meeting. And meeting? Uh, yeah, oh, meeting. the flavoring. Yeah, okay. The flavoring. And some sugar. I think was it um 
it's kind of weird, and I think, yeah, for Japanese, they're used to eating stuff from the, the sea, so, but it's your first time, you, you might have to get over a few fears, but... Mmm, very hard, but very good. I mean, immediately. The Japanese know how to prepare seafood, okay? I mean, basically, it's part of a clam, or, right? Yeah, it's a clam. Shellfish. Right? Yeah, but part of a clam, and, and they've made it into a treat. Really fits beer. Yeah, it is a beer. It's a beer snack. Mm -hmm. But I guess again, we can all say that it's all beer snack. Mm -hmm. huh? I'm moving to the last one. We save the best for last. Little tiny fish, what they call piwashi. Now, I guess they use this in cooking too, but I just want to show you here. This is actually what it looks like. It's actually just fish. You remember this was in the the same day? Yeah. Yeah. They do make it. Yeah. It's dried fish. Oh, but it has. It's like really just fish. Yeah. With no salt. Nothing. No flavor. It's actually good. Yeah, it's good. With beer. <laughs> Everything goes good with beer. <laughs> That one's up. I guess we're done. Yeah, it looks good. Really nice seafood from Japan. Snack, beer snack, snack beer food, or with tea. <laughs> anyway, that was our episode for today, and we are from Lost in Japan, and hope to see you again in the next episode. See you.